If I want to format a blank disk, I select Format, and I then type in a volume label to name the disk. Then I just select Format, and a pop-up menu appears showing me the formatting progress. It's that simple. Think about what's involved in teaching a new employee how to format a 1.44 meg diskette using just DOS. Let's see, they'd have to type in format space A, colon T, colon 80 space, backslash N, colon 9, and that would give them nine sectors with 80 tracks, so they would have a formatted 1.44 meg disk. Yeah, this will be much easier. But listen, there's something else that I've been wanting to ask you. Now, I know that OS2 is from IBM, and you also sell IBM PS2s. Now, no offense, but some of our people are using IBM hardware, and some are not. I heard that OS2 is... Well, obviously, I'd love to be able to sell you some new IBM PS2s, but to be honest, OS2 version 2 is not proprietary. It's designed to run on most 386 and 486 based systems, IBMs and IBM compatibles. What about memory? Doesn't OS2 version 2 take up a lot of memory? Well, it depends on the options you want to install. However, typically OS2 version 2 needs between 6 and 8 meg to run and from 15 to 30 meg on a hard drive. But just like Windows, the more RAM available for applications, the better the apps will perform. That sounds like a lot. Some of our older PCs don't have that much room. Well, I know what you mean. When you think back to the old 8086 days when 256K was huge, but the trend now and in the future is toward bigger, faster machines. Most 386s and 486s now are sold with an average of 4 meg of RAM, at least an 80 meg hard drive, and at a very low price. Realistically, you're probably going to be replacing those older PCs someday soon anyway, right? And when you do, I'm the man to talk to. OS2 is designed for the present and the future. And you want to be prepared for the future, don't you? You know, you're right. We've been talking about upgrading those older PCs now for a while, and I don't know why it's taken so long. I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and get this new OS2 for my department now. And if my people like it, I'll recommend it to the rest of the company. Uh, then let me get a few people from my department together, and let's get an appointment and talk about upgrading our computers. Uh, you don't mind coming back, do you? No problem. Once again, you've seen OS2 version 2 can be the key to solution selling. Rob easily convinced a staunch DOS user of the benefits of OS2. It offers greater compatibility, reliability, and functionality than just DOS alone. To learn more about the advantages of OS2 over DOS, take a moment and pause the tape and refer to your workbook. In this next module, let's take a look at another important group of potential customers for OS2 version 2, Windows users. Of all the customers you're likely to approach with OS2, Windows users will probably be the most challenging. However, there are many benefits for Windows users who switch to OS2. In addition to the benefits the DOS users gain, OS2 version 2 is compatible with both Windows version 2 and version 3. Windows users will have access to more memory with OS2 version 2 than they have with Windows. And with the ability to run 32-bit applications, OS2 is far superior. Alan is visiting with a Windows user right now. His customer isn't quite convinced that OS2 is for her. Let's listen in and see how Alan handles this situation and how he positions OS2 version 2 against Windows in order to make a sale. Well, that's all very good, but listen, I'm sold on Windows. I really like it. And from what I can tell, this OS2 looks and acts a lot like Windows. In fact, it looks like the same thing. None of us are computer experts. We have a magazine to publish. And we're either writing copy or working on graphics. I'm responsible for all these people, and they're, they're sold on Windows. Everything's working out just fine as it is, so I really think you're wasting your time. Why should we learn another operating system? Well, I know what you mean. I'm not knocking Windows. I've used Windows in the past, but I wouldn't be here if I didn't think OS2 2.0 wasn't a better alternative.
After seeing the real power of this OS2 and what it can do for customers like you, I'm convinced that OS2 is better. Well, to be really honest with you, I'm not so sure. Personally, I can't see any reason to put something so similar to Windows on my computer. Well, let me tell you why I'm using OS2 myself. Maybe that'll help. I can still use all my apps and do everything I was doing in the past, but now I can do it better. I have so many extra features and benefits. Here, let me show you. Here's something you can't do in Windows. I'm running a screensaver app, which was written for the earlier version of Windows 2. And over here, I'm running another graphics app, which requires Windows 3. If I wasn't running OS 2 version 2, and I wanted to switch back and forth between these two apps, I'd have to end one Windows session and take the time to exit and restart another version of Windows. But here, I can run two apps needing different Windows versions at the same time. And now I can cut and paste and share data or graphics between these two apps, and I couldn't do that before. So in a way, OS2 has helped me protect any investment I had in applications for earlier versions of Windows. Well, we have a few of those around here. I took most of them off my hard drive because it was such a hassle. Mm. You probably ended up buying new versions or upgrading if the upgrade was available, right? In some cases, yes. But for example, I've got this one app that uses Windows 2.1, and I'd still like to use that if it, if it wasn't such a problem. That's the thing about OS 2 version 2. It was developed with these kinds of problems in mind. You can still use your Windows apps, but you have all this extra functionality and compatibility. Hmm. All right. That sounds good, but what else would I get? Well, the access to more memory is one thing. You do a lot of work with large graphics files, right? Yeah. As a matter of fact, some of them are very large. Well. With Windows, you're limited to 16 meg of RAM in your PC, and virtual memory is limited to four times your RAM. How much RAM do you have? Oh, I've got four meg in my 386. I'd like to have more, though. I'd like to have eight. How's your system perform now? Well, I've had some problems when I run files that are too big or run too many apps. It takes forever. I think I run out of memory. For your applications, you might want to consider upgrading to a 486. Probably uh, 33 megahertz with at least 8 meg to 12 meg. Yeah, that'd be nice. I've been looking at ads for those in the paper. Even with what you have now as a processor, your memory would only be limited by the space available on your hard disk. With OS 2, you see, each app can access up to 512 meg of virtual memory. That's a lot. Yeah, but you know, my apps are slow now. I bet with all that, they'd be slower than snails. <laughs> You'd be surprised. With OS 2 version 2, we have a whole new world of 32-bit applications available. And that's very important in a graphics environment like yours. Here, take a look at this graphical 32-bit word processor I've got. This is Describe. We saw part of it earlier. Let's say I want to copy this graphic and put it in another document. You know that takes a long time to do now. So take a look at this. First, I'll go to the graphic and select it. I'll go to the action bar and select copy. And it copies the graphic to the clipboard. So now there are two graphics in memory, the one in the document and the one in the OS2 clipboard. Now I'll go to the new document where I want to paste the graphic. Then I'll select edit and then paste from the action bar. And voila, it's that fast. And now, I've got three graphics in memory, two on the screen, and one still in the clipboard. These new 32-bit applications would give you so much more performance out of both your software and your computer. But you'll need OS 2 version 2 in order to run them. But Alan, this OS 2 and Windows, they still look so much alike to me. Looks can be deceiving. The real difference is the fact that OS 2 is an operating system, and Windows is not. Windows must have DOS in order to function, and therefore it's limited in many ways by DOS. But with OS 2, you get a totally new modern operating system for today's powerful computers. And if you like the look and feel of Windows, that's no problem. OS 2 version 2 lets you work the way you want to.